Next comes voice modulation. In this, uh, we need to vary the pitch and the tempo of our voice. Otherwise, it can sound like one monotonous drawl. So sometimes we need to speak in a high pitch. Sometimes we need to speak in a low pitch. And uh, we also need to change the pace, the speed at which we speak. And we should maintain a moderate speed that is not more than 125 to 150 words per minute. Uh, if we speak slower than that, it gets boring. And if we speak faster, it will get uh, difficult for people to follow. And uh, we need to be wary of fillers. Uh, like, for example, when you say something like, um, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, like, these are fillers. So we need to be careful of fillers. Of course, fillers could be a natural tendency also. But... Um, if we use too many fillers, then it conveys underconfidence and um, uncertainty, right? We should take care of not repeating phrases and our pronunciation and enunciation need to be clear. So we shouldn't be speaking in our mouth as in not mumbling, but clearly uttering each and every word. Right, opening the mouth enough for words, for sounds to come out. Using proper stress, using pauses and silences for effect. So not speaking without punctuation, uh, not uh, ra rattling off like a train, but breaking our sentences, giving meaningful pauses, uh, stopping for people to ponder, to reflect. That is how we need to be speaking, right? So we look at grooming now. And uh, I've used a quote over here, remember? Sometimes uh, it is one of the elements that make your presentation more effective. So this is a quote for you. If you look good, you feel good. And if you feel good, you do good, right? So uh, it your appearance goes a long way in de determining your mindset or your state of mind, how you feel, whether you feel positive, whether you feel negative. So be careful as to what you're wearing. And in dressing, we are going to consider, first of all, what to wear. Now, like I said, that you have to keep your audience in mind. If it's college going students, you can wear something which is trendy, which is more appealing to college goers. If it's colleagues, you have to be formally clothed. If it's a general audience, you have to be appropriately dressed, right? And wear something which you're comfortable in. So just don't wear something for the sake of wearing it because that's supposed to be the protocol. No, if you are comfortable wearing cotton or wearing fabric that you've always been wearing, wear that. Wear whatever is comfortable. For example, some of us are just not comfortable wearing high heels. So we should not wear high heels for a presentation just because it looks more appealing and formal. No, we can uh, wear formal shoes that do not have heels. And uh, that, in fact, will enhance our confidence and enhance our comfort levels. Now, would you wear this kind of uh, um, an attire? <laughs> if you had to make a presentation, obviously not, right? Perhaps yes, If, uh, but this is the most appropriate. So this is what formal clothing is all about. Definitely not torn jeans, right? <laughs> yes. And then we move on to style of speaking. How to speak. You need to breathe regularly. You can't be panting. You can't be taking short, quick breaths because that's a sign of nervousness. That's a sign of um, you know not feeling well. And uh, that's a sign of making your audience also uncomfortable, right? Articulate clearly. Like I said, your words have to be pronounced, uttered clearly. Use pauses, use emphasis.